All right. Now, this is just kind of a reminder. For some of us been doing this a minute. And something for you new guys to keep in mind at all times. So, I loaded them three horse trailers. Now, when I got to the manufacturer, they had two rows of three. Let me notice that one's white, that one's white. This one is gray. Now, when I got my paperwork, a nice lady inside told me, you got a gray one, a black one, and a white one. Well, as you can clearly see, that's not the case. Now, I bring this up because there was a gray one, that one, a white one, neither one of them two, and a black one in the first row. Now, had I just went ahead and not vend these and thought, well, if they never mess up, they always get them in right. Because this is the first time it's ever happened at this location. And I just backed up and started loading. The place that I'm going to would only have gotten one of their three trailers. This unit and that unit were staged just like they are in two and three position in the second row with a black trailer in front of them so i can't stress enough that you always need to vend these and do not go by just the last three or four vend the whole fucking thing it don't take that long so in short, my first unit was the middle unit of the first row. The second row was only two thirds of the way right. So, always keep in mind check the VIN numbers. Check the VIN numbers, check the VIN numbers. Now, I didn't want to pull the jack. And if you know, that handle will hit that trailer. So I just took a bunch of zip ties. Oh, no, there you go. Zip tied it tight. Now it ain't going nowhere. It's been like that since Oklahoma. So. Pay attention. Now, had I been paying just a little more attention myself, I'd have done what I did with this one. Flip it over, crank her till she don't crank no more, give her half a turn or two butt puckers. And that handle ain't going nowhere. That's how they're designed. So anyway, y'all be safe. Y'all be good.